The shift from 140 characters to 280 is a small change, but a big move for Twitter. At least that's how Jack Dorsey described it in a tweet that was far more than 140 characters for the first time. So why was that limit even there in the first place? Well, originally Twitter was designed to work in conjunction with text messages, which used to be broken up across two different messages once they hit the 160 character limit. So Twitter arbitrarily chose 140 to make sure that messages never hit that 160 mark. Now that there are so many different options out there besides text messaging, Twitter finally realized it was time to move on. Now, Twitter first made this change available to some English, Spanish, and Portuguese-speaking users. Interestingly, this isn't as big a problem in every language. 9% of tweets in English hit that 140-character limit, but in Japanese, where they can say more and less characters, only 0.4% of tweets ever hit that mark. This is something that a lot of users have been asking for, so a lot of folks are going to be very happy, which is exactly what Twitter wants. They've actually been losing users, 2 million in the United States at one point, and also losing ad revenue, so these changes are meant to make users, advertisers, and of course, the stock market happy. Twitter stock once traded at near $70 a share, a price that they could only dream of today.